weeks ago, you told the story of Margaret Todd, who has successfully lost 13 stones in weight. I'm delighted to say she joins us again tonight. Hi, Margaret. Yeah. You look fabulous. How do you feel? I feel good, but it's murder trying to stick to my target there. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll be able to help there, because you're going to get advice tonight from personal fitness trainer Paul Rutherford. Hi, Paul. Hi, there. What are you going to do for Margaret? Well, it is a tremendous achievement to lose so much weight, but obviously Margaret's having difficulty in getting off, so hopefully I'll be able to show her a way in which she can continue to keep the weight off, improve her health and fitness, and fit it into her lifestyle so it's something she can continue to do forever. Well, I found it intimidating going into other gyms, thinking, well, these people have been there, they've done it. Could, have you always been as fit as this? Or? Oh God, no, no. Um, myself personally, I was the other end of the spectrum. You were trying to lose weight. You know, I was hoping to find it. I mean, I was very slender. I was very skinny when I first kind of got involved in it, and that's why I got involved in exercise. So, although we have kind of a different problems, it's a similar vein. You know, I struggled to try to put weight on, and you're you know struggling to try to lose weight. So I was by no means an actual athlete. So in a kind of a way, I can empathise with your plight. I felt it important to become a personal trainer so I could really can spend time helping people on an individual basis, giving them the attention that they deserve. Because it's um, quite a daunting experience for a lot of people to come down to a gym, sure if you're fit or healthy and you look the part then you've nothing to worry about. But the average everyday person who doesn't know what they're doing and maybe doesn't look in ideal shape, you're very intimidated so you know, I feel that someone should be there to help them. Really what we've got to look here is what can we do to help speed up your metabolism because that's probably the key issue here as opposed to what you're eating because if you have a wee think about it there's probably a friend or member of family that you've got and maybe eats a lot and is quite thin you know exactly. now if it was down to what they ate why are they not huge you know mm -hmm. the metabolism is faster that's simple so what we need to do is encourage your body's metabolism to speed up start that one now indicated here is a set of your heartbeat, so this tells you what your, your heart rate is at the moment and as long as you keep a contact it will give you a pretty good indication of what your heartbeat is throughout the exercise. At the moment we're just using it for warm up purposes so we're not wanting your heartbeat to go up to 250 beats per minute just yet. I'll try to be a wee bit more continuous on the way down again. That's good, how's that feeling for you? Are you getting the jitteries? Aye. <laughs> do another couple, do another couple. I firmly believe that anyone, if they're not happy with their life, whether it be their body or whether it be their level of health or their energy, they can do something about it. If they take the appropriate actions and they start to make changes, and anyone can benefit and anyone can better their, their life. Yeah.